We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Quoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Empowering listeners from the U.S. to the U.K. Live on air with Stephen Quoco. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I've got word today. And let me share something very important with you. It's been said that anyone who abandons you is teaching you how to stand on your own two feet. Once again, the word for today, anyone who abandoned you is teaching you how to stand on your own two feet. I would say one of the biggest things is what most people are dealing with in this world is neglect and abandonment and betrayal. I don't know about you, but one of the biggest things I've learned in many, many years and several decades is betrayal. It's the hardest thing to try to understand when you think about putting faith and love and respect into a relationship. And it's not just about others. Betrayal can happen. It can happen even with oneself when we think about betrayal. And as long as you know you're doing right, you're living right, meaning you're, you're eating healthy, you're taking care of yourself, you're sleeping, you're not forgetting yourself, you're not neglecting yourself, you're not giving away your power to anything or anyone else because ultimately it starts with you. You're putting yourself first. That's what matters most. And no matter what you may believe in, no matter where you're at in your life, it really matters starts with a simple decision and belief that you are worth it. You are worth every good, wonderful, remarkable opportunity in your life. And I want you to remember that because that was something that was very, very important that came to me yesterday and I'm going to read it again. Anyone who abandons you is teaching you how to stand on your own two feet. You're experiencing a loss opportunity. You had to remove a friend out of your life. You're in the middle of a divorce. You left a job. A contract did not go through. You were in a perfect space and opportunity. And then all of a sudden, it was dissolved, taken away. I'm going to tell you, when you live life with good intentions and meaningful purpose, you will come into an alignment of what is going to be in the best interest for you, your soul, your family, your kids, your career. So remember, and people have said it, and it took me a while to understand that there is no such thing as loss. There really is not. There is a thing of shedding, You'll shed, you'll grow, you'll, you'll evolve, you'll transition. Ultimately, though, enjoy the experience. Don't worry or think about <laughs> the end road or the end game or the expiration date. Enjoy those moments. They're most important in life. I want to give a big shout out to my good friend over at Digital Journal, Marcos Papadados. We've known each other for a very long very long time. Highly respect him. It's a great friend. Uh, you know, he always compliments me and, and tells people that I've taught him everything that he knows, but he teaches me things as well. We were on a phone call last night for felt like an hour or so, and he may not know it, but I'm going to let him know when he listens or, you know, he's live with us right now that you do teach me a lot of great things, Marcos, and I'm ex extraordinarily honored and grateful to you and for you to be in my life and to teach me as well because we cover different styles of journalism. Same, but, you know, I'm radio. He does, you know, 
online article print. And it's still a, a wonderful friendship I'm grateful for. Which brings us to music artist, actor, Mr. Max Eric. He's going to be talking about his new hit single, Backroads. It is streaming live. It's on rotation on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. We added it today. Whether you're listening to us on the iOS or Android app or on Power985.com or Apple Music, Siri, Alexa, and many more, thank you for being with us today. We are your premier destination for all things news, sports, music, entertainment, lifestyle, and more. We're also going to talk about Southern Gus. Uh, thank you, Christina. <laughs> I was like, please tell me that's not a typo. Southern Gospel on Up TV. It's a film uh, which was directed and written by Jeffrey A. Smith. Uh, Eric played the role of rock star Samuel Allen in Southern Gospel. Max, welcome yes. to Live on Air with Stephen Cuoco. Wow. I'm so grateful to have that you're having me on this show, man. Those words really, really struck a chord with me, um, with the the word of God that you just preached before. So thank you for uh, for th that those words. Really helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate you and the respect and the the friendship we've built in this matter of a time that Marcos had brought us together. And you look, and not only look but perform. No one should say anything bad or negative about Southern Gospel because it is really well done. Thank you, brother. Southern Gospel has such a strong message that is so uplifting for kids, for families, for adults, for anyone that's on any walk of life that I just think that it is a, a story that I was so excited to. One, the moment I read the script, I was like, I need to do this movie because I need to sing and I need to... <laughs> act and play the guitar but i need to spread this message of hope of a comeback you could fall from grace but you can come back i like that and you had yourself baptized from that experience yes yes so i got baptized during that experience um during that experience i was um i had a breakup with a lovely human being, artist, Demi Lovato. And, um, you know, the next following day, I had a scene in the movie where my character gets baptized and I just decided that I wanted to really um, reconfirm to God and Jesus that this is my, my purpose, is to use my art, my movies, my music to help people. I, I wouldn't say I'm like... I am not a saint. I'm a person. I'm an artist. I make mistakes. I learn from mistakes, you know? And so I, I'm not going to come on your show and tell you that I'm like this, like perfect person who is just in the church every moment of the day, but I try my best. That's all I do. I try my best to be a good person. I put myself, love myself and love other people and be kind. And that's it. Like, I'm trying my best every day. What's incredible is you're 32. I was shocked when you told me. You've got yeah, incredible Yeah, people think genes. I'm like 20. You do. You and do. they see me, yeah. You, I think it's God, bro. Like, I, the, the, I eat very organic foods. Like, I'm pretty much like, I'm like vegan and gluten-free, but I also, when my body's like, hey, I want some chicken or I want some red meat or I want this like or fish like I have it I listen to my body that's what I've learned over the years like everyone is so caught up in the restricting their diets and all this stuff and if that makes them happy like god bless but for me what I've found for myself and for my friends how I try to be is like if my body wants it like as long as it's I know it's healthy for me and it's organic and good source I'm gonna have it so, yeah, I think that's why I look a younger age than I am, yeah. I would like to and see I, you on... And I work out every day and do yoga and dance and sing every day. Uh, I, you belong on a, a television series where I think you can still play like a high school kid. Yeah, yeah, I play, and I just did a movie, I filmed it before this actor's strike. 
Um, and I play, yeah, pretty much a high school student. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Which is nice, bro. It's a blessing. I want a long career. So I, I'm, you know, I'm counting my blessings, meditating every day, keeping grounded and keeping my nervous system in a place that allows me to stay and feel looking young and healthy and vibrant. I like that you brought that up. Yeah. I'm going to go here. I'm going to, I'm going to let's go move the question. The other question I was going to have on the side, you brought up your nervous system. Yes. How much are you aware? You shared it, but how much are you aware when we think about our nervous system and the parasympathetic sympathetic and mm -hmm. you in tune with that? Very in tune. So 12 years ago, I got into Kundalini yoga meditation. I went on a yoga retreat in upstate New York. And since then I've been in different yoga retreats. One is in Big Sur in California. And I learned so much about yoga and meditation and foods. Before that, I had no idea what that stuff was. Um, Cause I'm from New Jersey. I'm from a small town in New Jersey. It just wasn't like a buzzword at the time. And so, yeah, I learned about your nervous system and how important it is to keep your nervous system at a very um, equilib equilibrium. You gotta do whatever you gotta do to get there. I try to stay like, it's like I surf. Um, I go surfing in Malibu all the time. And, you know, when you get on that board, you're on it, and you catch the wave, like you just, you're still. You got to do a little work to get up there, but then you're still, and you ride the wave, and you coast, and you just like breathe, enjoy the air, the sun, the ocean, and stay present. So, yeah, I'm very aware of my nervous system and very conscious about keeping it in a good place because I want to sustain my career for a very long time, forever. I'm trying to live forever and I'm trying to have my career be thriving forever, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Call me Peter Pan, but that's <laughs> that's kind of my vibe. <laughs> mm. You uh, you enjoy the power and empowerment of being omniscient and omnipresent, it sounds like. Um, yes, I love being present in the present moment. We're gonna, we got a couple message. Ryan from Michigan said that, uh, what's the message? We're, we got, uh, we get instant messages when people are yeah. on. Ryan's Ryan give, from Michigan. Ryan from Michigan. He's given a big shout out and is asking when your upcoming tour is going to happen. Oh my God. <laughs> Ryan from Michigan. Thank you for that question. <laughs> so all I'll say is this, is that there is a, artist that released an album the day that I put out my single and um, there is a possibility that I will be opening on tour for that artist. I'm not going to say names, but a really my one of my favorite artists, female artists right now, probably my favorite female artist right now. She's also a Disney kid. We're both Disney kids. My first job was in High School Musical 3. So um, if you could put the pieces together, um, that's who I'm trying to open for Olivia Rodrigo. Hmm. I actually heard about that and I yeah. wasn't too sure, but I wanted to leave that up to you, whether you wanted to. Yeah, we'll it. see if it happens, man. Like I don't put the cart before the horse. I pray to God every day to open for Olivia Rodrigo. I think her music is so eloquent. She is such a genius and you know, she went through her breakup with Joshua Bass at the same time that Demi Lovato and me broke up. And so I listened to her album and it really helped me get through and process my breakup. So I relate to her on like a very soul level. I ran into her at the grocery store last year and I was like, thank you for helping. She had no idea who I was. I didn't try and like say who I was. or I just said, yo, your music really helped me. <laughs> she was so sweet. And she was like, oh, my God, thank you so much. She's a sweetheart. Super, super talented and, and wise. Do you feel and believe or feel or believe one or the other or both, Max, that you've reached the best part of your life? Or do you feel that you are still, you live every day the best part of your life and you're coming more in tune with who you are as a person, as a man and as a professional? I'll tell you this, my, my main focus for the last, I'd say, um, 16 years has been focused on acting. While I had my song as the theme song in the Netflix movie, Walk, Ride, Rodeo, 
and put out uh, a single after the breakup and I, I was actually forced to uh, the team I was working with at the time forced me to put out that song so I wish them the best but it was not um, yeah not my favorite situation but I love them and truly wish them the best and have compassion for the situation and can take accountability for the fact that it was just a hard time for everyone I was in the middle of filming a movie and the breakup it was a lot that being said I've been focused on acting for the last 16 years and acting is such a beautiful art expression, but you're playing someone else. You have a mask on and I bring myself into every role, but I've been waiting for this moment. I had a mission since I was four years old when I was playing the piano on my grandma who passed from lung cancer when I was four. Um, I knew that the piano filled my heart. And so when I was like 13, 14, watching the Disney Channel, and I was like, I want to move to L.A. and be a music. How do I do this? Like, it seems like all these kids, they're in TV shows and then they do music. So I was on a mission for, to, to become like a TV star, movie star, and then transition into my main heart desire, my sole purpose, which is music, my art because it's me. I'm getting to share myself and my stories, and I hope that I can help even just one person through it. And I don't mean that in a, it sounds so like, um, what's the word, like cheesy, like a lot of artists say stuff like this, but I truly do. You know, I was bullied when I was a kid. Um, I, I almost committed suicide when I was 13 from being bullied for being an artist. Um, so I'm in a place where I just want to help people like through my music and share all the good times and also the challenging times and how I got through it because I'm grateful that I have coping skills and teams around me and a really great therapist and doctor or whatever that like I'm like able to like, I'm, but everything's all natural. I'm, I'm very about like, I don't do anything that's not organic and from the earth. But that being said, um, yeah, man, I feel like I'm in my moment right now that I've been waiting for. When we think about mental health and bullying, do you yes. feel that you've healed from those effects subconsciously? Finally, yes. Finally, I can say yes, I have. And now I can trans, um, transmute that experience into something good by helping people. Are there still any triggers or do you recognize triggers no. that are happening in other people when they're, you know, bullied? I think I was really triggered after my breakup when there were a lot of people attacking me online. Um, you know, people were saying things and they were saying false stories. And um, the truth is I was just trying to help my significant others stay healthy. And that's all it came down to. That being said, people said a lot of things about me that were not true. The media said a lot of things about me that were not true. And it, that triggered me at the time, but it's been three years and now I've heard it all. Um, and there's nothing anyone can say to me that would affect me. The only people I care about is how I feel about myself when I pray to God, how the feeling I get and my parents, I don't care about what anyone else, any judgments that people have. Do I like when people give me feedback? Yes. Am I open to, to, uh, evolving? Yes. Do I love like, like, every, yeah, I love growing. So yeah. Giving a moment from that because you've compiled a lot and that's a yes. lot to take in process. and of course. Yeah, it's a lot to process. Yeah. For everyone. Yeah. Um, but I, but I'm grateful to stay on the other side of it. <laughs> That's why I'm able to like talk to you right now and be like happy. Like I'm genuinely like woke up this morning with a smile on my face. I was just listening to the Jonas Brothers like dancing around my place. <laughs> um, I'm able to like come on here and literally just tell you that like, you know, sometimes the darkest the dark become before the darkest before the dawn or like they really just sometimes you have to go through the dark to get to the light and i think you know i'm out of the darkness and i'm in the light and i'm so grateful and in a constant state of joy and gratitude and compassion and passion for my art 
your mom is a huge huge support system for you. <laughs> yes she is she's a sweetheart yeah she was a special education teacher for a very long time at my middle school um she's a sweetheart and my mom has been there for me in every single way like driving me to voice lessons driving me to acting lessons driving me when i went to high school in new york city uh, when I used to dance for the New York Knicks, she would drive me into the city every day. My mom's actually staying at my place right now. My my mom and my dad. My dad is also a huge supporter. My dad, Bruce Eric, and my mom, Rhonda Eric, they are both my biggest supporters, I'd say. Like, they keep me so inspired, and I'm so grateful to have come from the great family I come from. If you're able to share... What have your parents said to you or encouraged you throughout the last several years in the transitions you've gone through? What's what powerful words have come to you from them? Um, well, a lot of it is just like reminding me how much they're there for me and how much I can trust them um, with anything and, and that there's a safe space. I can share anything and that they will just give me unconditional love Um there were a lot of words about, you know, like your comeback and your um, your bounce back and your uh, just like really inspiring me to keep moving forward, to keep on moving because, you know, it did keep moving. I started in a movie that came out in theaters. I got to go see with my friends. It's Universal City. Look, that was awesome. Southern Gospel. Uh, it was so cool to see myself on the big screen starring in a major motion picture that was insane um and then yeah filming another movie like i said earlier this year before the strikes and the music they've my dad's always like whenever i'm not in the studio my dad's like why are you in the studio today (laughs) because he knows it brings me it makes me happy Mm. yeah so they just want me to keep um, keeping the flow, the artistic flow, for sure. What word of advice can you share to those who are listening and to people who are going to hear this interview in the future? We will be re-airing the show. Connie, thank you. Um, Connie, thank you so much. She just joined us. Uh, we will re-air this great question. We will re-air this show throughout the month. So this okay. isn't going to be the first and last. So definitely check out the schedule, Yes. whether it be on the uh, app or on power985.com. And yep. uh, you'll be able to listen. We will also, just so you know, Max, we will, for reference, uh, either your favorite podcast platforms, iHeart, Amazon, or Spotify, mm-hmm. We will be uploading that today. Just remember, this is a radio show. Yes, this is a radio show, not a podcast. We just like to have that there for everyone, just in case if you uh, tune in late. Yeah. So you were going to ask a question about um, advice or something? Yeah. What word? Thank you, Max. What word of advice can you offer anyone who is considering getting into the music and television industry uh, from your experience? Yes. You can't avoid everything, but what of word of ease can you offer? I can offer the words of ease of follow your heart and your soul's desire. If you truly love acting, singing, dancing, and it brings you joy and it heals you, do it at, and do whatever you got to do to find the right people, the right team that's safe and healthy like the people around you are very important. So keep a circle around you, the people that are very healthy, happy, safe, sober, and with God. And that's just in a good place. And I'd say just go for it. Just go for it. But if you're seeking fame, do not go for it. If you're seeking to express yourself as an artist and you love performing, acting, singing, dancing, making TikTok videos, this, uh, then, then go for it. For sure, 100% go for it. I appreciate that. And we're going to get into back roads. I'm excited about this. Yay, back road. One <laughs> ticket to the back roads, black hats, feeling low. 
a quote oh, about nobody this. sees us. <laughs> Sorry. I'm no, no, it. keep going. <laughs> hey, we'll do a live live show with like that. I wanna be your little secret. I wanna know if you can keep it. Anyway. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> A quote about the song, Backroads is a catchy, fresh pop song that takes you away and feels like summer all year long, all year round. Well, and all year long. Hey. Yeah, that's the vibe for sure. Drive, put that song on repeat, put your windows down and stay in summer forever, you know, summerland. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I listened to it back to back four times today to just yeah, get a good vibe. it's a very vibe. easy listen. I'll tell you this. A lot of my other music I'm going to be putting out has a, is a bit more vocally demanding. I do a lot of like, yeah, yeah, like a lot of riffs and stuff. Um, and like I'm on the piano on a lot of it, which I would play for you now if you want to hear something live. But yeah, um, you do? I do. Let's do it. Okay. Can you grab the chair? So, one of my favorite songs is, um, do you know Make You Feel My Love by Adele? I'm going to have you refresh my memory. So, Bob Dylan made a song called Make You Feel My Love. And then Adele did a, Adele did a, um, a cover of it. And it is so gorgeous. And a really dear friend of mine who, unfortunately, um, something happened that I don't want to talk about right now, introduced me to this. To uh, make you feel my love. Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Thanks for letting me do that. I love playing the piano. <laughs> you reminded me of my mom. Really? She taught herself how to play the piano. And I thought to myself, oh, that's incredible. I should learn. Of course. It's a beautiful instrument. It's a, I find it easier than guitar for me. I, I play, I've played guitar for a very long time for Southern Gospel. I had to, I play every note in the movie. Like I, I learned, I, I'm a very, I take my craft beyond seriously. Um, like I'll turn my phone off for like two months while I'm filming. Like, so, or like if I'm like on a tour, like I'm not going to have my phone on me. Like some of my, my team will have it because I want to focus fully on the art and give people the best experience and move them emotionally. I'm proud of you. Thank you, brother. I am. That means a lot, genuinely. I know Thank you. you're welcome. I know I said that on the uh, Instagram post, and I really am. I'm going to honestly well, say what I really appreciate about you is that you know how to stay out of your own way. Yeah. Yep. And just be you. Yeah. I'm going to have, yeah, try to have as much fun and laugh as much as possible laughing myself <laughs> i like lessons learned and like just kind of like give myself a big hug you know <laughs> family kids 
Any of that yeah. you would like to have down the road? Have you ever thought about that? Of course I've thought about that. I thought I was I was about to have a family and kids a few years ago, but I right now I'm so focused on my art and my craft and that right now I love being single. Um, I'm open to love for sure. If Olivia Rodrigo is single, just kidding. <laughs> uh, half kidding, but no. Uh, <laughs> basically, yeah, I'm definitely open I think family, I come from an amazing, like I said, my parents are so incredible. My family my and my experience was amazing. So when I'm ready to do that, but I'm not ready right now, I'm ready to focus on my career for like a very long time. And then we'll have a con another interview and I'll tell you where I'm at then. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll, yeah. You'll, you'll definitely be <laughs> but I'm not on. there right now. That's not on my mind. No, um, not even a relationship is on my mind. Like talking to people is on my mind, but I, you know, I'm very, um, I hold my values very high. I don't believe in um, intimacy on a, to a very extreme degree until marriage, or at least until you think you're going to get married. Um, so yeah, I just, yeah, I'm pretty, um, yeah, purity is my vibe. You're compared to music artists such as Shawn Mendes, Nick Jonas, Love, and Justin Bieber. Love them all. Yeah, I mean, I'd say Shawn Mendes, Justin Bieber, Love, and Nick Jonas have had and do have incredible catalogs and have had amazing, amazing influence on society. So that that is amazing to be in the same sentence as them. I, they inspire me, and I, I would love to collaborate with any one of those artists. And I was going to ask you that. Is that a possibility? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Look, if Justin Bieber, Nick Jonas, Love, or Shawn Mendes, is that, is that I repeat the name, or like Charlie Puth or Olivia Rodrigo or Sabrina Carpenter or Madison Beer or Taylor Swift or Selena Gomez or um, who else? Uh like countless other artists hit me up and wanted to record Chance the Rapper, ASAP Rocky, Rihanna, Beyonce, Jay-Z. Anyone hits me up and wants to collaborate, I will be in that studio. I love working with other artists. EP or album, what's coming out next for 2024? Um, so this year I'll be putting out another single, um, possibly two more singles, but... We, you know, an EP can transition into an album. So that's the path I'm on. Mm. I have like 150 songs in my catalog right now. And so it's just like a narrowing down process. I'm pretty positive, 99% sure of what I want the next, what the next single is going to be. And I believe that might be coming out October 20th, um, tentatively. But, um, and yeah, that, yeah, we're, I want to make albums. I want people to have an experience where they get to listen to the album forwards to back, like start to finish. And it's very, it's everything I do in my life is very intentional. So there will be a reason why the songs are in a specific order. There'll be a reason of everything, meaning behind everything. It's been said that putting together an EP and putting together a full album is completely different. Do you agree? And if so, what's the difference? An EP versus an album? Yeah. Well, first, it's just like the number of songs, but I think EPs, um, it's a lot um, easier to put out an EP as opposed to an album, a full-length LP album. Um, it's just less songs, um, so less, less songs to have to choose from and narrow down and less more... Um, thought behind okay cool if there's 12 to 14 songs in my album what order and why and what is the message that i'm trying to send to the world for me that message will always be coming from a place of wanting to spread love and peace and healing so it's a matter of just for me just number of songs it's for me there's no difference mm. in terms of like how it affects me um, I'm ready to release an album, I'm actually ready to release two or three albums with the amount of songs I have in love. Um, but I'm create like I'm going to the studio today, tomorrow and on Friday because I love creating co 
consistently and capturing the lightning in a bottle of the moment where you're at in the present. You said, quote, I love romance. The song yes. is fun and of summer vibe, and I want people to drive with the windows down and listen <laughs> with, the, with their public or private flame. Yes. It is exactly where I am in my life. It's a fun and enlightened or lighthearted. I'm, let me re repeat that again. Yes. It's a fun and lighthearted place. I'm really excited for the music to come out. Uh, you hit everything that your goal was made for when we think of back roads. Yes. 100%. Is there anything that's going to compare to that in the future, or do you feel that this song stands on its own? Where I think every song of mine will stand on its own. Yeah. I appreciate that. We were going to go ahead and we sometimes, uh, I should have known to have asked you to have your team send over the MP3. Usually that's easier. Sometimes when we do. A I have it if you want it. Can you email it over? Yeah, one sec. I'm going to send you it right now. Um, yeah, I can send you the, the MP3. Because um, are you able to play it off of like YouTube or Spotify or Apple Music or anything? We usually do, but I don't know because sometimes because we are satellite and there are times we have to use uh, a different plugin when we're using an external. If it's a link, is that fine? It's just like a link you click on and press play. You don't have the, hold on. Oh, is this um, you? To, um, do you, I would say we would probably need the actual MP3. Okay. Um, let me see. I probably have it. What's your email? <laughs> oh no. Can you do this on live? Yeah, I don't mind. Steven Cuoco, S T E V E N C U O C O at Gmail. Okay, you tell me if this link works and I'm gonna find you the MP3 right now. I actually know that we do have I do have the MP3. Um just go to my email real quick. Take your time. Um, Take your time. Okay. Um, smart link. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna send. I have the MP3 right here. Yep, I'm gonna send it to you right now. Do that. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a test. Let's go ahead and do a test. If we get, because we we have a, a certain system that we use for our live. If we get feedback, we're gonna need the yep. MP3. I just sent it right now. Yeah. Oh, did you? All right. Well, I'm not even gonna worry about that. Let's go ahead and check this out, guys. We are trying to pull up. So I sent you two links. One was the link, and then the second email is the MP3. Did you get that? I got something from... Video. Let's see. And then the second one is an MP3. I got to put in the subject, like, MP3. Three is a really good number. <laughs> Let's see here. Thanks, Lydia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just got a message from Lydia. She's like, I don't mind waiting. <laughs> yeah, I have it. Um, I'll text it to you also so you have it. Yeah, sometimes things are worth a little wait, you know? Sometimes the opening act comes on for like, <laughs> overstays their welcome or comes on too late. A la Frank Ocean. I love Frank Ocean so much. Um, such an amazing artist. So inspiring to me. Um but yeah, I texted it to you also, um, so you have the MP3. Just now, I just did. But I emailed it as well. Audio. Yeah, we would need, got the uh, audio through the text. We definitely would need to have that through the email, but hold on, Max. Hold I on. sent it, yeah. And did you? I sent it, and you could also send that text, to, like that text to yourself. You can email that text to yourself. Let me see here. I emailed you it though. Let me go ahead and do that. Good call. Yep. Let's see. And I hope everyone on here is having a good time and is enjoying this beautiful day. Oh, you know they are. Yeah, it's a grateful to be here. 
God is great and life is beautiful and each moment is precious. <laughs> each breath is precious. And what did I, I say do. earlier? Like everyone can learn something from each other. It's like, oh yeah, duh, we're I all could've... in this together, truly. Yeah, it's like I could have just said, I could have just texted that. You know what? I don't bother myself with, I, I know what I want to learn and need to learn when we think about technology, Max. But at the same time, like someone was texting me last night and I said, I'm not into having text conversations. I was like, just go ahead yeah, and, no, I would be. and um, just go ahead and just give me a call or let's meet, you know? Yeah, literally. It's a mo like the, the energy exchange over text versus the phone, the, the tonality of someone's voice or the face, the micro expressions of someone's face when you're talking to them. It's just night and day. Like you really, it's so, texting is so impersonal. Um, it can be the, for me, like I text like <laughs> with a lot of hearts and emojis and, and very like, <laughs> like I text like I kind of like in talking. So, but some people are very, very direct and I used to take it the wrong way. People would text me just like straight to the point, like pretty, like, like really, um, what's the word? Just like straight forward with no, no heart emojis or anything nice. I'm like, are they mad at me? Or like, did I do something? <laughs> but now I don't care. <laughs> That's when I was younger. I'm going to honestly say thank you. And yes, my tech team is still working on getting that one plug in. Sorted. You got it though, right? Like you got I did email. get it. What I want okay. to do just for the heck of it, I want to test this out through the plugin. Can we go ahead and see if we get an echo back? So hold on, Max. Are we getting feedback? Really? All right. I'm impressed. All right. Let's bring Max back on. So good. All right. So no such feedback. <laughs> so happy. I love it. That song is such a vibe. Sean, you got to reach out to the tech team. Did they find like, cause here's the thing. I believe we, we didn't get any feedback at all. So this is the whole point. As you know, digital satellite radio, you're, you're tech savvy. You know, this max once yeah. again, we had everything working. Well, the tech team, my tech team decided, well, let's make some enhancements and advancements. Didn't even let me know they were going to be doing this. And oh, I'm no. like, we are now you're like, no, no. We're getting yeah, feedback no. now when we're doing the plugins. So, oh, man, I feel you. I've I've had experiences like that before. Yeah, it's like please leave things alone. When yeah, you work if, perfect. If, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It'd be like that whole vibe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, before we go ahead and play this live, Max, anything else you want to tell us in addition of backroads before we go live, uh. live, live? Yeah, so Backroads, I honestly just want people to listen to Backroads on repeat every moment of every day because <laughs> I think that it really brings, I, the song is all about bringing good energy, good vibes, good health and wealth to people. And that's the frequency and the energy that I put into the song is for people to just have a good time and smile and laugh share the song with your friends your family every single person you love and yeah just enjoy it just just have fun just it's just have fun all right we're gonna be here we go live and, and let's pull max back up has anyone else ever played your song live while being in an interview <clears throat> um no <laughs> First no, time. I've played live. Like I've had to sing live, but no one's ever played it live. You started playing, and I, I started dancing. Um, <laughs> and my parent, my parents are here. And my dad's like in the kitchen, and he's like watching me like dance on the phone. And he's like, "Okay, he's having fun." <laughs> well, continue dancing because 
Of course, I will. This is going to be super exciting, and especially after finding out that we are not getting an echo. Somebody did something and fixed it and didn't even tell me, but I'm glad uh-huh. I found out yes. on my own with you. Yes. with you. All right, oh, everyone. God. Here we go. You ready, Max? I'm so ready. Born ready. Max, my dear Marcos, thank you. Max Eric, everyone. Backroads live on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio, Power985.com. This song was just added on rotation to the station today. I'm excited. Here we go, everyone. I wanna take you to the back rows, black house with the brim low. Someone nobody sees us, but we could do it all night on the beach in the moonlight. Someone no one can reach us. I wanna be your little secret. I wanna know if you can keep it. Kissing with our eyes closed, we can kick it on the down low. Wanna take you to the back rows, yeah. I wish that we could be incognito so comfortably, just holding hands walking down the street. No paparazzi trying to mess with me, nah Baby, we could keep it stuff The bright lights, the black, they put them on the shelf The world wants to see you with someone else But I know a place that you could be yourself No one has to know I know what you want, I got the spot Nobody knows I wanna take you to the back rows Black house with the brim low Someone nobody sees us But we could do it all night on the beach in the moonlight Someone no one can reach us I wanna be your little secret I wanna know if you can keep it Kissing with our eyes closed At the movies in the back row We can kick it on the down low Take it to the back rows, back rows Back, back, back rows, back rows Whoa, back rows, back rows Take it to the back rows, back rows Whoa. I wanna get you out of the city Private to Bahamas if you're ballin' with me Girl, you're looking at like you fly a lot Hiding in your bands like a pilot Throw away your problems like a shortstop Turn bass from the corner with your socks off Wanna be the candy in your lunchbox Cause girl, you're blowing up just like a pop rock No, no, no one has to know I know what you want, I got the spot Nobody knows I wanna take you to the back rows Black house with the brim low Someone nobody sees us, but we could do it all night On the beach in the moonlight Someone no one can reach us I wanna be your little secret I wanna know if you can keep it Kissing with our eyes closed At the movies in the back row We can kick it on the down low Take it to the back rows, back rows Back, back, back rows, back rows Whoa, back rows, back rows Take it to the back rows Man, I'm going to tell you this. Convertible, glass of champagne. I'm not saying drinking hey. and driving. I'm the passenger yes. with the champagne. Amen. I can picture driving on oh. some sort of mountain, sunshine. Yes. It, it, a commercial like a Mercedes Benz, a Jaguar. Oh. Yes. Bentley. It's yes. incredibly good. It's exceptional. Oh, that's, that's the exact vibe I want people to... That's why I said put it on repeat in your car and just like play it all day, every day. Because <laughs> like it's just that vibe. I mean this in a good way, Max. I don't yeah. know about you, but I just got this burst of energy and just feel so exceptionally oh. phenomenal right now. Yay. Yes, bro. Same. That's literally exactly what I want my music to do for people, especially this song. So I- that means the world to me. <laughs> And I've got to ask strategically, here's where I was shocked by it. Cause I don't pay attention to how long a song is. So when I yeah. first played it and listened, I don't to even it, know how long it is. How long is it? Two minutes and 43 seconds. And I was shocked uh-huh. about how quick it ended. Yeah. You know, well, I think so two is an interesting number. And then mm-hmm. 40, you said 43, 43. Yeah. So seven is a really lucky number. So I, yeah, I like I mean, it. Yeah, I love, I, I don't really pay attention, time is a construct, so I just, I love 
Yeah, I love the way that it is right now. Yeah, but that's why you got to put it on repeat because it's like ends and you're like, wait, I'm going to hear that again. And here's per- here's something that's perfect. And I mean this with all my heart. Mm-hmm. Two minutes, 43 seconds. What is the sweet spot to the length of this track yeah. is that it warrants, it compels you to want to put it on repeat because for myself, I'm like, did that song just end? You need to put it on repeat because it's that that good. And once again, two minutes, 43 seconds is the sweet for spot sure. for this yeah. for this song. Yeah. I agree. I think people that like want to like smile and be happy and be like have success and money and good things you should probably listen to the songs it puts you in a good mood <laughs> mm-hmm. you know <laughs> wow 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 and what a day max what a day with yeah. you what a day to find out i mean my team works very hard but what a day and a gift of an opportunity of knowing that we were able to listen to it with no echo <laughs> even though i wasn't told that we wouldn't ha- the echo got fixed yeah but yeah I'm I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm happy super for this. happy. Yeah, thank <laughs> God. I would have been a little bummed if it didn't play, but I know you would have figured it out eventually. Like, no. But yeah, I'm super happy that I got to just dance and <laughs> to to the, the song in, in my kitchen. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you taking time to be with us today on Power ninety eight point five. We're gonna. Yeah, I'd love to come back anytime. Always, we're going to be closing out now. Max, who would you like to give a shout out to? Um, I'd like to give a shout out to my mom and my dad, Bruce and Rhonda Eric. Thank them. I'd like to thank my team, Rudy Mescua and Isaac Williams, um, Josh over at my team. I'd like to thank my agent um, over at William Morris. I'd like to thank my manager, Mark Morikawa at MGMT Entertainment. I'd like to thank Jazz Valencia, Hayalsu over at Vidya, and all my friends and family that have been with me on this entire journey. Yeah. All great things. Max Eric, head on over to his Instagram, M-A-X-E-H-R-I-C-H. But you're doing TikTok as well, but what one yeah, is your bread TikTok and butter? and Twitter. TikTok, Twitter, and... Um, Instagram. Tic- Instagram, yeah. What one are you most active on though, where people can connect with you? Um, Instagram and Instagram, I post a lot. Twitter, I do as well. And TikTok, I'm posting a lot. I, honestly, all three platforms I'm being very active with right now. And that's good. But I'd say Instagram and Twitter. But the first mm-hmm. app I'll open on my phone is Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you not to knock it. Twitter yeah. is actually exceptional to use. Oh yeah, I love my Twitter. My Twitter following, I am obsessed with them. Yeah, like, I love honestly my, anyone that is supporting me right now. Like I'm, I'll talk to. I've call. I call fans. I block like I block. I like do star sixty seven and like from a private number. But like I'll call fans. Like I'll talk to fans. Obviously only like adults. But like, um, yeah, like, yeah. I don't do FaceTime or send pictures. Or anything. I don't. If people send me things that are inappropriate, I have to, um, unfortunately block them. So, but yeah, people can send me nice messages and they can just send things that are just like, like PG 13 or whatever, like just not like crazy stuff. But even if they did, I'd just be like, Hey, like maybe like, you know, you don't know me, like maybe like respect yourself a bit more, you know, Mm -hmm. like in a very like kind and gentle way. I have compassion for everyone. You could do whatever. And I'd be like, yeah. Like, just like, I hope that you're like are healthy and I'll pray for you. Like even like someone who's doing some really, yeah, things that I would never approve, like would never do myself or want my friends or family to do. Be like, yo, praying for you. Do your thing. That's it. Yeah. No judgments here. I love everyone. No, except everyone. All walks of life. All genders, all preferences, everything. I love, I'm, I respect um everyone and that's what makes you an incredible human being thank you you're welcome any other thoughts uh you would like to share before we head out um just that i would appreciate if everyone streams backroads on repeat forever (laughs) and my upcoming (laughs) songs and to just 
like I'm super active on my social media. So come over to my social media pages, the at Max Eric, M-A-X-E-H-R-I-C-H. Cause I'm, I'm running my account now and like, I'm talking to my fans. So come over to my page and, and talk and share your story. If you want help, um, I'll help. Like I'll try and guide you in the right direction. If you want exclusive, like music clips or something or shout out someone's birthday, I'll sing happy birthday. Like, just come over to my pages because I, I actually love interacting with my it's even weird to just use the word fans I'd say supporters yeah I appreciate that Max thank you again for being with us today we're going to close out listening to Backroads again the sweet spot Yay. yes sir perfect length hold the line if you're wanting to if you're able to and then you and I'll have a yep. quick private chat yep. before we head on you know yep. I'm here Chris, thank you. Yeah, we are going to play it again. Chris Walker from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, we're going to be playing it from the beginning right now. Max, thank you so much. Of course, always. All right, thank you. All right, everyone, we're going to be, here we go. Backroads by Max Eric. I wanna take you to the back roads, black hats with the brim low. Someone nobody sees us, but we could do it all night on the beach in the moonlight. Someone no one can reach us. I wanna be your little secret. I wanna know if you can keep it. Kissing with our eyes closed, we can kick it on the down low. Wanna take you to the back roads, yeah. I wish that we could be incognito so comfortably, just holding hands walking down the street. No paparazzi trying to mess with me, nah Baby, we could keep it still The bright lights are blind, they put them on the shelf The world wants to see you with someone else But I know a place that you could be yourself No one has to know I know what you want, I got the spot Nobody knows I wanna take you to the back rows Black house with the prim low Someone nobody sees us But we could do it all night on the beach in the moonlight Someone no one can reach us I wanna be your little secret I wanna know if you can keep it Kissing with our eyes closed At the movies in the back row We can kick it on the down low Take it to the back rows, back rows Back rows, back rows, whoa Back rows, back rows Take it to the back rows, back rows, whoa I wanna get you out of the city Private to Bahamas if you're ballin' with me Girl, you're looking at like you fly a lot Hiding in your bands like a pilot Throw away your problems like a shortstop Turn bass from the corner with your socks off Wanna be the candy in your lunchbox Cause girl, you're blowing up just like a pop rock No, no, no one has to know I know what you want, I got the spot Nobody knows I wanna take you to the back rows Black hats with the brim low Someone nobody sees us, but we could do it all night On the beach in the moonlight Someone no one can reach us I wanna be your little secret I wanna know if you can keep it Kissing with our eyes closed At the movies in the back row We can kick it on the down low Take it to the back rows, back rows Back rows, back rows, whoa Back rows, back rows Take it to the back rows Socials and let's connect.